Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to iterate through an array with a for loop. A common task in JavaScript is to iterate through the contents of an array. One way to do this is with a for loop. This code will output each element of the array to the console. So this is just saying it's console logging out each element. So it's gonna go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Remember that array have zero number based, uh, zero based numbering, which means that the last index of the array is the array minus the length. So here we've got an array of one, two, three, four, five elements. So this number is actually, this element is at array on the fourth position. And if you were to say the array length, which is five minus one, then you get four. So that's how you get this. That's what they mean there. Um, our condition for this loop is i is less than array dot length, which stops when i is at length negative one. So we declare and initialize a variable total to be zero. Use a for loop to add the value of each element to my array to total. Okay, sweet. So what we want, first what we want to do is declare and initialize a variable called total. So variable total. And we're going to set that equal to zero. And now we use a for loop to add the value of each element of the my array, which is this one, to the total, to the total here. So, so for, okay, variable i is equal to zero because we're going to start on the zeroth position of my array. Let me see, I'm just going to console to log this out. And just, I'm going to describe this a little bit. Console logging my array at zero. So you see, this is getting two. Now at one, it's going to get three. At two, it's going to be four because we're at my array at position two. Zero, one, two, four. Five, it's not going to exist because that's not even there. So three. At four, it's six. And that's the end of the array. So what we're doing now is we're writing a function that's just going to go through this. It's going to go zero to four. So um, i is less than. Now we can go my array dot length. Now l e n g t h. Okay, I'm going to comment this out again. If we go my array and we say dot length, we get five. But that's not right because we don't want it to go to position five because zero, one, two, three, four, and then five will be nil, which is a mistake. So we want to say my array dot length minus one. So then we get four. So it goes zero to four. So my array dot length minus one. And then finally, we're just going to say one uh, plus equals one. Um, I plus equals one. And then um, I'm going to uncomment this so it looks good again. <clears throat> we're going to say total uh, is equal to total plus I. And now, if we were to console log uh, my array, if we were to console log total, you see um, it should be the sum of all of those, but it's not. Total is equal to total plus one. Six plus five plus four plus three plus two. So it should be five, nine, 14, um, uh, 20. The answer should be 20. Total six right now. Total. What if we go total plus equals i? Total is equal to six. If we run the test, it should work. Your total should equal 20, and yet our total doesn't. Total. Ah, okay, so what we're doing is just adding the index. So we're starting off at zero, and then we're adding an index of zero, and then one, and then two, so that's three, and then three, that's uh, six. And so the index isn't helping us. What we need to do is add the total is equal to my array. Uh, my array of i. There we go. Now we're getting that. And then I'm actually not getting that last number. I'm adding it up to 14. So I need to say i is less than or equal to um, my array dot length. Now you could do not do this my array dot length. Um, my array dot length. Instead of doing minus one, you could just say it's less than my array dot length. And that'll still get us the right answer. Does that make sense? Because if you were to console.log uh, my array dot length, 
you get five. And so if we go i is less than five and not equal to five, that means it'll only go up to four. So this is sort of a better way to write it in hindsight. I think that would be the better way to get the answer. But this, is, this should be the answer for the, uh, the thing. The idea is that you're adding to the total. Um, let's console.log the total as we're iterating through, right? You can see the to total's growing to, at, initially it's, it's, uh, it's, it's zero, but then the right after we add the first element, which is two, yeah, we could actually console.log that as well. My array at uh, i. Cool, and now you see um, the total is two, my array is three, and then so it's, then it's three, the, so it's total plus three is equal to five, and then five plus four is equal to nine, 9 plus 5 is equal to 14, 14 plus 6 is equal to 20. And that's how it's just looping through this array. And then our result is the uh, total. And when you run these tests, I don't think that you need, the, you definitely don't need the console logs in there. I just try to do that so it gives you an idea for how this works. And we run the tests. They pass. Hope this helps. See you guys in the next lesson.